The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online free from the meddling of censorious business. Hi, my name is Trip Weston. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis' extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play. Me. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had on the line, the former Q level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial. Minded determined to enforce their will on human time. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth quest. <laughs> Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her prey. The shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the world-encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared. Probably whisked away by a government boat lest we capture the beast on video.
back to ancient times, extraterrestrials have demanded animal sacrifices. And what they are not given, they take by force. Questers, whatever it is the shark caught sent, the secretive black ops unit conspicuously called NWO has captured. What might be their nefarious plan? on this satellite suggests that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops. Fortunately, I suspect there's more where that came from. Pretty aggressive looking. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf fishing industry. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. in its final stage of collapse.
Naval dominance has always been part of the hidden agenda of the insectoid elite. They hate our boats, because our boats mean freedom. Sadistic evildoers have set sail, gleefully ready to commit heinous crimes from the decks of their warships. Here again appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. to pass up a fat fiesta. Go back to Plover. We're done for The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. Satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communication. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can.
extraterrestrial overlords retaliate out of fear of exposure. The shark has successfully avoided the scythe of the murderous click of alien conspirators.
Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flees. WO is still in hot pursuit. The fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. could only be captured with the best professional-grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shock troops, at least for the time being. Another insectoid in human's club. Government suppressed free energy source, the Electric Great White.
started this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bonglord69, who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Continue to campaign for several periods.
Dynamite was clearly in the pocket of the Mexican cops. Hypoxia sets hold as the creature awkwardly struggles on land. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flickering. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. W.O. threatens to execute Protocol 5. The shark refuses to subjugate herself to the insectoid's will, and thus, his target is a threat.
what she's already witnessed, the Predator lashes out against the Illuminist group's deceitful agenda. The enemy is thwarted by the force of righteous truth and must return again to plotting and scheming. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. 